Pisces, welcome to your angel reading for November. You've got two cards coming through, two Archangel Michael cards as a starting point. I think only one other sign actually got two cards from Archangel Michael. Okay, so increase your knowledge. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. And embrace this magical moment. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. Okay, right. What else is being shown? This looks quite an exciting November for you. What else are we shown for my lovely Pisces? There's definitely some learning, some project or some something to expand on that I believe if you bring your energy into it, really bring your focused energy to it, I think you're really going to see it move forwards. I'm seeing this and actually this one for you. We have... 1122, great shift. Wow. Look at this. First, focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts and then expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new. So many positive shifts are in store for you. The world around you is changing in favour of your intentions. This is interesting because I really felt the energy of actually if you get focused, you can, <clears throat> excuse me, you can really apply yourself and make you can make something really move forwards, a shift. And then we have hold your vision, manifestation, abundance, money, dreams. So focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes you desire. This is really, uh, really a month where giving something your full focus, my lovely Pisces, is going to bring in results. Whatever this may be for you, let us ask more for you for your November reading. May we ask more for my beautiful, lovely Pisces. I think we're gonna take we're gonna take all those actually. Let us see what we have. We have healing hands and the golden apple. I'm seeing these two cards as really highlighting that almost it feels a bit like having the Midas touch, you know, King Midas who could he made a wish, or he was granted, I, I think possibly more than one wish, but anyway, he wished that everything he could touch would turn to gold. Now, of course, this was a bit of a disaster because everything he touched did turn to gold. So all the people that he loved, whenever he touched them, you know, no cuddles because they turned to gold. Uh, the food that he wanted to eat, nothing to eat because it turned to gold. So he had to really assess and think about what he wanted to wish for. And I feel that there's a, a message here that says, actually, you are in a primed state to manifest during November. There's something about your energy, Pisces, that is really aligning for manifestation. So th be, be conscious of your thoughts. Think about where you place your focus. You know, in the law of attraction, you know, where we place our attention is what we are manifesting. So I find that really, really interesting. We then have the crystal cave Inner exploration, hidden treasures. We then have the hourglass. Gosh, the timing is right for you. The open book and the shooting star. Wow. Uh, the timing is really, really right for you, lovely Pisces, to actually bring something forth. Literally, where you place your focus is, is, where, is what's going to manifest. There is something about your energy, Pisces, that is really primed to manifest here. And, and we are really being shown this in no uncertain terms. I kind of want to say seize the moment. Now, the energy at the moment, and to be honest, for the coming year, there, there's going to be some ups and downs in the energy. That's what's happening. We are seeing some quite intense pockets of energy and we're seeing massive, massive changes. Um, massive. I mean, we are in a period of massive personal growth and it's accelerated growth so we're all going to feel the impact of this I've been saying in some of the other readings use the energy don't let the energy use you if you apply your focus my lovely Pisces to something that you really wish to manifest I think you're going to be able to do so now increasing your knowledge this could even be increasing your awareness of how 
um, manifestation works, of how the law of attraction works, so that you can manifest what you want, so you know that where you place your attention is going to happen, and, and I feel that you might actually get some real results quite quickly, um, which means that if you give something your full focus, your full attention, and you then get the result, I think it will really inspire you to do this more. So, let's draw some Archangel tarot cards and see what else we are shown for my lovely Pisces. Now I'm seeing this and this and this and this. Let's check these first. We have three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. Three of Gabriel, this is interesting, you've got two threes. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Um, optimistic plans that turn out as expected. This is this manifestation. We have the world and we have the knight of Michael as well. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. A very happy ending coming full circle. Okay, my lovely Pisces. Um, I think this is a month where you really, really can actually achieve quite significant things. You know, it really is an embrace this magical moment. What I think is also interesting, this release the past. You know, comfort, care, healing. We've got reward coming in. We've got inner exploration as well. It may be, my beautiful souls, that you are able to not just work in a pragmatic, practical way, but also do some inner work to remove any obstacles. Like, like really acknowledge to yourself, perhaps, what you want and what you desire, really hold that vision, really acknowledge anything that sits within you that is in the way of you having that vision or bringing it forth. Yeah, hidden exploration, hidden treasures, the shooting star, wishes, hope, opportunities. The Knight of Michael, you know, Sometimes the knights, are, the court cards, are people coming into our lives. Um, sometimes it's you embodying this energy. This is very dynamic. It's happening. It's, it's seizing the moment, seizing the opportunity, not missing an opportunity. And this is really interesting because it is time for change. Something is going to shift for you. I wonder if it's going to come through awareness, almost as though... There's like a layer of inner work taking place and then through awareness and acknowledgement, like, like a, a pathway opens or I, it's not even like a pathway actually. I, I sort of feel it's more like something appears. It manifests, it happens. Because the energy is perfect for you to manifest, I, I do think this is one of those times. Well, so what I see when it says pick up a book and the open book here, if in any way you are at any time, my lovely Pisces, having a wobble or you're thinking, what do I do next? Or oh, I could really do with a bit of advice and guidance. Open a book and like just whatever page it opens on, there'll be a message for you. Uh, you know, it's one of those ways, sometimes you can ask for assistance, you can ask your angels for advice, and you turn on the radio, and the words of the song are just like singing to you. They're giving you all the information you need to actually move something forwards. It's, it's just magical. This is kind of a month, I think, when things can actually manifest to the point where you let go also of... Perhaps a feeling where you feel you don't have agency or you can't actually make something happen or something is something that has has that you've wanted. What I see here is there's something that is going to like, like your ship is coming in. Something that you have wanted. We've got wise planning. I'm also hearing family planning. If any of you have, have been trying for children or wanting to start a family, 
that there is obviously this will be a message for some and not all for sure um you know if any messages come through in any reading beautiful souls um if they are not for you they will be for someone else especially in a reading that is meant to reach many but i feel your ship comes in something that you have also potentially for some of you you have actually kind of thought about it almost like in the planning stages of, so yeah there could be family planning for some of you uh, there could also be for some of you something that you have thought about and wanted there could be travel plans I'm seeing for some of you we have the world here um, some of you may have been planning a vacation some of you may have been planning a trip or even going on a course that could be um, abroad. It may involve some form of travel. And somehow this is the point when, you know, maybe if you didn't, let's say you didn't have the finances to do this. You've been wanting to travel, you've been wanting to plan a trip away or a course or something that you wanted to do and you just didn't have the finances. And somehow you're able to manifest what you need to be able to make this possible, to put it into place. It's real stuff that's coming in this month for you, Pisces. The real, the substance of the realness within within your world. I'm I'm loving this. I I just feel this is a a month where there is a magical learning curve in terms of your capacity to manifest. Um, if any of you are looking to write, for example. You know, we've got a scroll here. I'm also wondering how smoothing if there are <clears throat> if there are contracts to be signed, plans to be made. You could find that something shifts here. The timing is right. Your ship comes in. It, yeah, contracts being signed. There could this could connect to work, but it could also connect to these kind of contracts where you are um, house moving. You know, the pathway is cleared for you. It does feel very very magical. There's a lot of magic around you. And what I love, my beautiful Pisces, is that it's also healing a layer of potential self-doubt within you. Um, you know, sometimes when things just don't run to plan, we can honestly, I mean, we can all have days when you just think, you know, come on, universe, <laughs> it's like, you know, cut, cut me some slack. Where, you know, is this going to happen or isn't it going to happen? You know, we can all have days when we just wonder what the universe is up to. Whereas this is kind of an energy around you this month, my lovely Pisces, where that kind of gets kind of addressed, really, because you start to see real results here. Your part to play in this is to keep your focus and to really open yourself to receive to, and, and to follow it through with real actions, hold your focus, place your attention on the things you want to um, achieve, the things you want to manifest, rather than the things you don't. Focus on the positive outcome rather than the potential for it to go wrong. And, and I do see, you know, something coming to you, coming to fruition in some way. So this also could be something you have been planning for or trying to manifest for some time. You kind of get the result. As I said, your ship comes in, which of course opens a whole new chapter of your world for you. Pisces, I think this is a really, um, I don't want to say productive, I want to say fruitful <laughs> with the apple, but really genuinely a fruitful month for you because I, it does feel as though the planets are aligning here. <laughs> Look at all the planets here aligning here, you know, to, to just open things up and to bring things to you. So open your hands to receive. It does feel there's a lot of magic around you. Pisces, this looks actually to be a, a really, really positive month for you. Keep that mindset of positivity, though. Hold that mindset and be very conscious of your internal dialogue and where you place your focus and your attention. You know, that's your kind of role in, in um, co-creating with the universe this month. But I think it's looking pretty cool, actually, to be quite honest. And, and you know, that's amazing. So beautiful souls, I'm going to dive into the extendeds, I think, and ask for more information about 
all of these things you know what is arriving how is it arriving how will you see what advice and guidance i'm just going to dive full on in you're very very welcome to join me if you wish the recordings of these extended readings are in patreon and also in the youtube membership area here as well and um, thank you all of you who are on patreon and members because it, your donations really really do help to make well they help to maintain my free online library and keep it free so thank you all and thank you just for being here all of you Pisces have a fruitful month um, it looks actually pretty fab to be quite honest um, I look forward to seeing you for some other readings really soon I'm going to be doing a, a moon webinar as well how to manifest with the moon if that's of any interest so watch out for all of these videos as they come I'll be doing a moon month energy update too really soon so tons of love and um, I look forward to seeing you for another video at some point soon or indeed in the extendeds Tons of love.